can you see Fran? Only in Kenya. Well, yeah, I am in Kenya. But also here today to give you guys a vlog. Woohoo! From my room. Um, so this is my last week in Kenya. So we'll be back to uh, making vlogs. Not two weeks in advance. Next next week. Uh, provided I'm, I'm not dead and also capable of forming um, coherent sentences, I guess. And hopefully I'll, I'll come back and I'll be like miraculously, I don't know, like maybe tanned or like have like a big bite mark out of my face from being eaten by lions. Or maybe, I don't know. I'm going to be positive and hope that I'll be absolutely fine, look absolutely fine, and not be dead. So that's that's the hope. But I am in Kenya, but I'm still vlogging for you because that's what I do. But uh, this week I want to talk about 3DS, Street Pass, and Spot Pass. So I will have taken my 3DS to Kenya because I am a little bit obsessed at the moment with their street, uh, their, was it me? What's it even called? I don't know, like Puzzle Quest, uh, uh, puzzle, the Puzzle Piece one and the um, Street Pass Quest and what have you, that thing. And there's also six more games that you can buy. And I haven't gotten quite to the addiction level that I'm giving them money so that I can play more games with people. But I'm not far off it. I have 702 out of 905 puzzle pieces. And I guess what I wanted to talk about here is that the kind of genius idea that Nintendo have implemented by this whole feature that when you go past someone with uh, a portable console that you, you trade details and that they can appear in other games. I mean they implement the pe feature in other games as well so in Link, uh, is it Link Between Worlds? The newest one? You can like fight other Links. Um, in Animal Crossing you can buy furniture from other people's houses uh, or a copy of them. You don't just like steal their steal their uh, furniture that would be that would be that would be awesome wouldn't it if like if you street pass with someone in Animal Crossing they can rob you uh, and you can rob them that would I think that would have been cool but probably they're not they're, that's not the case um, but there's the feature I'm like really addicted like it it probably makes me use my DS like more than I usually would because I always have it on me because I always want to get more more street passes and complete complete the puzzle puzzle get puzzle pieces and what have you and they keep releasing new puzzles when like new games come out it's completely trivial and I am so hooked that like really really annoys me when you meet someone and you try and get a puzzle piece because you collect them from other people and it says this person has no puzzle pieces for you and I'm just like I have 702 puzzle pieces that you have your pick of and you don't have one for me <sighs> and <laughs> I also kind of realized that um in the street pass quest thing. They've implemented this feature where as you go through it you collect hats. And I used to laugh at people on, on Team Fortress for being obsessed over hats. And now I'm just like, ooh, I got a new hat. Oh, it's a, a Waluigi hat. Or, oh, this hat is a hot dog. Yeah, they have like hot dog hats and stuff. It's really weird. Or, ooh, which hat am I going to wear today? Because like when you encounter me, they're um, on the... On, uh, just on the on the street pass thing, they're wearing whatever hat they choose to wear. So uh, I change hats whenever I get like a new one or get bored or all all the time. It's just I'm really obsessed and I don't know how to stop. I don't know. I, like I used to laugh at people being obsessed about hats and stuff, and I'm obsessed about these completely trivial puzzle pieces and hats that don't really mean anything. So that's that's not good. But then people see me, like my friends and stuff, and they're like. Oh, why do you care? And then they do it on their DS's and then they get sucked in as well to this... It's like collection. Collecting things. People like collecting things. I think that's that's partly what it is. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, do you do you have a 3DS? Do you use street uh, the, the street pass thing? Like, I, I've kind of noticed that people either use it loads or don't use it at all. So, you'll either get people who um, have... I, I just gauge it by how many puzzle pieces they have, to be honest, because... If you have lots of puzzle pieces, then you use it a lot. And if you don't have any puzzle pieces or only have like a few, then it's not something that you're really into. And I kind of go through through phases of using it. And it's really bad when I'm in Scotland, especially because in Scotland, it seems to be like nobody goes out of Scotland. So there's only like a select number of puzzle pieces because uh, in Scotland, so the entire country, I tend to encounter fewer people with puzzle pieces than in Cornwall, the small little bit of England where I currently reside. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why I get so wound up about it. It doesn't even matter. And I reckon I'm going to end up buying these um, extra games at some point when I am not ridiculously poor from going to Kenya and Christmas. But that's, I guess, what I wanted to say to you guys. So, 
As always, I have been Fran in Kenya. Uh, this is the killer bit, so if you like the video, like, give me a comment. What do you think of puzzle pieces? Do you think I'm obsessed? Do you think I'm a little bit crazy? I, let me know. I mean, and the whole kind of idea of these, these, these games where you take the game with you and pass people and, and share them. Let me know what you think of that as well. Um, so yeah, comment, subscribe. We have a Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the killer bits and a Twitter. And the Twitter is at the killer bits. And I have a Twitter at Jaggerus as well. So you can follow both of us. And I post lots of random stuff that I think when I feel like tweeting, which isn't, I don't know, you can make, you can make up your minds. Um, I will see you guys next week from here, but actually be here. Woohoo! Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just be sad because I'm not in Kenya anymore. I should stop saying Kenya. But check you guys later. Bye.